it's Haley. I am here today for my first episode of my mini series Face to Face with Banish. In this series I will be showing you how to go from makeup or special effects makeup to taking care of your face underneath with the Banish skincare line and maybe some other things thrown in here that I use daily. So this is my full face glamour look. I will be showing you how to do liner, highlight, and lips today. I just wanted to do a few basic things. Since this is the first episode, in the future we can go a little more extreme. After I show you a few steps in getting this makeup look, I'm going to go take a shower and then I will be back with a bare face and I'll be showing you the steps of what I do to take care of my skin after I have a ton of makeup on but if you want to see how I got this glamorous look then keep on watching all right guys so as you can see I have my base on and the majority of my makeup done I'm gonna show you guys three different steps how I do my highlighting how I add a bold lip and how to do liner but first I'm gonna do the highlighting I'm gonna use the Mary Luminizer highlighter and this is for when I want serious serious highlights super bright and blinding so I'm just gonna take an Anastasia a23 brush and we're gonna apply it. Whoa, whoa! We're gonna apply it to the high parts of our cheeks and right, swoop it right above the brow. And if you wanted it even brighter, you could dampen the brush, but that might be doing too much. Okay, and then I'm gonna do it on the bridge of my nose, and that immediately makes it super snatched. And then the top of my lip, Cupid's bow. Then I'm going to take, this is an e.l.f. brush. It's a blending eye brush. I'm just going to take it and tap it off. I'm going to put it right in the corner of my eye. Draw some more attention to your eyes. And since we're being extra, I'm going to swoop it on the brow bone. And then since we're going to be really extra, I'm going to take this Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Glitter and we're going to add it just in like the corners a little bit onto the lid. Make it glittery. Makes your eyes pop even more. I'll swoop it up a little bit. So for eyeliner, I'm going to use the Anastasia Dark Side Gel Liner. I already put it up here after I did my lashes, but I'm going to put it inside the waterline. Then I'm going to use another liner to create a wing and a, like a little inside cat eye. This stuff is nice. It does not budge. If you have small eyes, I would say only bring it to the middle, not all the way in, because it's going to make your eyes look smaller, but since mine are large, I'm just bringing it all the way in. Super easy. Now I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeliner. This liquid eyeliner I think is only $1.99 and it's like one of the best, I swear. So now I'm going to just take it and create a little triangle. As if we were like a lioness. See the difference? It makes it look more like a cat. I just really like how it looks. It's kind of also a lot of Arabian makeup, I feel. Arabian inspo. Aladdin. Arabian. nice and crisp. Okay, so now we're going to do the wing. Usually I do this before lashes, but I just wanted to save some time. Get straight to the point. It's 
So just do a small one. Since these lashes are already pretty big and overbearing, I always start by tracing the underneath and bringing it out to my eye and then I go on top and almost like connecting it and then just fill it in. I feel like that's the easiest way. So lastly, I'm gonna do my lipstick and I feel like whenever you want just a really dramatic over the top, you always do red. That's what I lean towards. So I'm gonna do red. First, I'm gonna put this Banish Oil on. This is one that goes all over your skin, but I use it to hydrate my lips before I wear liquid lipstick because it's mattifying and drying and it makes my lips crack. I'm gonna take a drop of this Whoa, there I go. It's nice and hydrating and it smells really good. So now our lips are nice and hydrated. Then I'm gonna take this NYX pencil. This is in hot red. Now I'm just gonna line my lips really quick. The oil also makes it slide right on. I already have big lips. If you don't have big lips, this is where you can overdraw it. Or if you do have big lips, like me, and you want to be really over the top, I'm gonna overdraw them a little. Now I'm gonna take Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Seraphine. It's one of my favorite reds. Nice and red. That part was pretty easy. Those are just a couple things that I add to go the extra mile if I wanna look super glamorous. So now I'm gonna take this all off. I'm actually gonna hop in the shower and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna have no makeup on and I will walk you through my steps of what I do for skincare after wearing a buttload of makeup. I will be right back. All right guys, so I am back. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Banisher, one of my favorite things ever. This one seriously helped the most with my acne scars, I feel like. I have most of my scars on my sides of my cheeks. So like it's smooth but if there's still the redness and like the texture in the skin, this is gonna help you smooth out the texture. It like renews the skin surface. So eventually over time, it will be nice and smooth like brand new. I'm just gonna go in here and do like four strokes on each area. And people always ask like, does it hurt? It does not hurt. And you don't have to do it all over your face. I do just because I'm like better safe than sorry. Um, but mainly on my cheeks and then I'll kind of run it across everywhere else. And it's gonna bring um, obviously like the blood flow to your skin. So if you get red, that's okay. It's nothing to worry about. And my skin has been breaking out more than normal lately because I feel like whenever it's the weekend and I work as well and I have like full face of makeup all weekend, and then I'm usually not eating as clean over the weekend. My skin by Sunday is like, okay, I need a break. Like, take care of me. So here we are. Now I'm going to do the pumpkin enzyme mask. I do this probably like once a week or once every other week. I really like this mask, but I find myself using the charcoal one more. I don't know why. I just like the idea of it like hardening. It always feels tight after. This one makes my skin feel like a deep clean. It has like a little bit of burning in the beginning. Not bad, but it's just like the tingling is a little intense for the first couple minutes and then it subsides. And I just feel like it, that makes me feel like it's working. So I like this one a lot and it smells like pumpkin, obviously, because it's pumpkin. So I'm just going to dip in here and just go in with it. Go crazy.
I probably look so good right now. Oh yeah, I could feel the tingling already. It's feeling good. Okay. Just kidding. Okay, now I have it all over my face, so I'm gonna leave it on for probably 10 to 15 minutes, and then I will be back, and I will remove it, and then show you more steps, okay? So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just washed the pumpkin mask off. So now I'm gonna finish off my skincare steps. As you can see, my skin is really red. It feels so good though, it's super clean feeling. So now I'm going to go in with the Banish Oil. Just do a little drops on each section. Then press it into the skin. I'm gonna take the Banish Vitamin C Cream Oh, I grabbed a lot. And just rub it. And always bring your moisturizer down your neck. First sign of aging is in the neck and hands, so always. And then last, I'm going to use the Vitamin C Beauty Elixir and just spritz it all over and then we're all done. It feels so fresh and so good. So that is my usual skincare routine after a long week of wearing makeup that is my go-to i'll sometimes swap out the charcoal mask as well instead of the pumpkin and of course use the banishers i switch it up but this lately has been my go-to on sunday nights so i suggest you try it your skin will thank you i'm also kind of on the market for an under eye cream that is cruelty free so if you have any suggestions please drop them in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it i hope you guys enjoyed our first episode of face to face and that it was informational to you if you have any suggestions or comments about what you would like to see please drop them in the comment section down below please follow banish and subscribe and be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it you can also follow me on instagram at the makeup girl with two e's i am most active on there so if you want to reach out to me i'll be happy to respond also if you have any specific requests for our next episode please let me know i'm super open to doing whatever you guys want to see and thank you again banish for doing this mini series with me i hope you guys liked it i'm really new to this so please bear with me i had a lot of fun doing it and i can't wait to create more for you guys thank you guys so much i can't say that enough i hope to see you guys in my next video bye <laughs> okay okay <laughs> i thought that's what you wanted <laughs>